What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm coming at you with a video about distribution method versus extraction percentage. So I've had a lot of comments and I've thought a lot about how distribution can affect your extraction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three different types of distribution. This first one is gonna be tapping. I'm going to pull three different shots, set them aside, and then test them all with TDS later. So I'm starting with 18 grams in, I'm shooting for about 36 grams out, just doing a pretty standard shot. I'm pulling all these shots one after the other, letting them kind of cool down a little bit, and then I'm gonna test the TDS on each one. So this first shot is the tapping shot. Next up, we're gonna be doing a distribution method that I've never actually tried before. It's using a paper clip to kind of break up any clumps and stir things around a bit. So once again, we're using 18 grams in. I'm gonna stir it up with this paper clip. Got a brand new fresh one here. Now, as you can see, I'm stirring it up quite a bit. I don't really know if there's a way you can overdo it with this method. I'm just trying to break up any sort of clumps that I see before tamping. And as you can see, I'm using the push tamper and that's to take out any sort of factor involved with the tamping itself. So let's pull this shot. Once again, 18 grams in, we're shooting for about 36 out. Time-wise is gonna vary a little bit, I feel like, but generally it's gonna be pretty close. So there's that shot. 28 seconds, 36.9 out. We're gonna set this one aside and we're gonna do our last one. And this one, we're gonna use the OCD tool. And if you've been following along with me for a while, you've probably seen the OCD tool in pretty much all of my videos. It's been something I've used for a long time. I actually really enjoy the tool as it keeps things pretty clean and it's very satisfying to use. But the more people talk about it, the more I start to think, is this tool robbing me of flavor, of extraction percentage? So that's what this video is all about. So I'm running the OCD shot once again, 18 grams in, shooting for 36 grams out, looking like we're right on the dot here almost. And now we've got our three shots, so let's test the TDS. And while I'm going through testing each one of these cups, I do wanna say I did do three shots per test group, tested each one multiple times, and basically I'm showing you the median or the middle average range for all these shots. And this basically gives you the best view of the results that I found. So whether or not you agree with them, that's something totally different, but this is what I found. So the black cup is the tapping shot, the gray cup is the paper clip, and the white cup is the OCD tool. All right, let's talk about the numbers and what they mean. So here we have all the numbers for all the shots, and you can see that the extraction percentage is way higher with tapping than it is with the paper clip and the tool. So a nearly two and a half percent drop in extraction between tapping and the paper clip, and almost a three and a half percent drop between tapping and the distribution tool. Now I will say again real quick, numbers shown are the median results of testing three shots of each distribution method. So these are the results that I felt like were the most accurate and relatively close to all the other ones that were done. These are the median results, so they fall right in the middle, and I think they're the most reliable. Last but not least, I will say that I am going to be retiring the OCD tool in my videos moving forward because I do feel like it's not helping with extraction and it's just kind of robbing me of my hard-earned shots. So moving forward, if you see it in a video, it means that video was recorded prior to finding this out. Otherwise, newer videos that are recorded after this point will not be featuring the OCD tool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Spromethius, the blog at Spromethius.com. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.